Here I am aboard the Coast Starlight number 11 traveling through Oregon. I like trains. And with me today, I have a new little project. Well, more or less, it's a new take on a old project. This is the same board that I uh, did my AVR Ethernet AVR craft thing with, so it is just an AVR on a board with an Ethernet chip. Uh, one of the more notable things though is this one does now have a op amp for the video, so it helps uh, make the video a little bit clearer. And as you can see, the NTSC does work, uh, just as it has been working before. So I can see there it says uh, uh, booting network OK 192, 168, 142, and boot OK. And down here, I can see that yes, it is in fact pinging. Uh, it is pinging somewhere around between about 1 to 13 milliseconds. And that's because it takes a while to draw that big, blo big block of text in the middle of the screen. That is a four, or 48 by 24 block of video. And during that time, the processor is spending 100% of its processor drawing it. But because of all of the syncing signals are done on interrupts, we have an entirely large amount of time to do whatever we want to do to service the network. So right now all I'm doing is pinging it, but I could if I want go over here and I guess I should probably cancel that connection. Uh, oh, trains are a little rocky. And uh, we have a new connection up. I can type in hello. And on the screen we'll see some junk from when it first connected in, but we'll also see that nice little hello over there at the end. See? Hello! So, we have uh, TCP IP working on this thing, along with the NTSC, and it's pinging. We can also do something else in addition to that. I am running a small web server on it. Right now, there's no SD card, so it's a pretty small web page. In fact, all it really does is just say, you know, hello. See, hold on, I gotta exit out. It doesn't have enough sockets, considering uh, it's storing that whole video buffer. And, uh, let's just reset. Okay. And now I can just go over here and I can say 182.168.0.142 and it's loading that page just fine. And on top of that I have a little dynamic thing here. So we could theoretically do Ajax if we want to be really ridiculous. Right now all I'm using it for is just simply displaying stuff to the screen. So it says slash D slash test. If I refresh that we can now see on the screen that it says slash D slash test. So that is in fact working all right as well. Now, there was a couple tricks here. If you're curious about how I did my NTSC, feel free to click right here. If you're curious about other videos that I've done and whatnot, you can click down there to subscribe. And I'll have one little other video explaining a, a small problem I had with this at first and why I really couldn't get it to work very well. And that interesting video about that timing is right there. Thanks for watching.